As a teenage boy in middle or high school, what confused you the most about teenage girls? Girls hug each other and friends who are boys. Girls hug boys they like. Boys are supposed to know the difference. I did not. I still do not. Luckily I'm happily married BC I still don't understand how to flirt and crap with girls despite people telling me I have done that. The most confusing thing is all the freaking hints they drop. Just tell me please. You could be their biggest crush and you may think they don't even know your name. Dut. And other jokes I can tell myself. How come I got a call after a dance that a girl liked me, did I hear a week later, while buying lunch tickets that she wanted to break up with me? Girls get horny two head explodes. I never understood that they were just people that I could have talked to. I was too shy to make the first move at any point, so all my friends are guys since they were the ones who talked to me. Why did the entirety of their friend group go to the toilet when only one of them needed? How they could form a magical, impenetrable barrier with a chatting circle. I can't tell if the relationship they want is platonic or not. Slapped my ass but then pretended it never happened. Sat on me and then pretends it never happened. Mixed signals? Bruh, I slapped my homie's ass yesterday with the force of 1000 suns. Honestly how sexually active are high school girls? I feel like I was super horny in high school but not sexually active as a guy. How they can act super nice, then one thing goes wrong, and they are mortal enemies all of a sudden. Then they'll talk the maddest crap about each other but turn around and be all friendly. It was kinda confusing and amusing watching my ex do this. Whether they were playing hard to get, shy, or just not interested. You should ask Kama out, she likes me, totally, she talks about you all the time and you two would be great together. Hi Ama want to go out to the movies Friday? I'm okay but just so you know I only think of you as a friend. WTH. What am I doing wrong? I know that I am doing things wrong, but specifically what about me makes me so different? I was an antisocial quiet kid at an all boys school. For me it was mainly where on earth all my classmates were getting girlfriends from. Having barely any friends as a kid is fun. Directly from Canada. Why the frick is the toilet their gang hideout? It's restricted access. They can talk about you as much as they want. I was confused for the longest time on why two-piece swimsuits, top and bottom, were sold separately. Also for like $60 each. What confused me the most? The giggles. Yes the giggles of teenage girls confused me the most. Walking into class, or down the hallway and a group of 3 or 4 girls would just start giggling and snickering to themselves like some sort of bad inside joke. I would always check my shoes or clothing for something embarrassing but never found anything. To be honest, I'll probably never understand the giggles. From my experience, being in a girl group, it could be someone in our group has a crush on you and we're teasing her or yes some inside joke we don't want others to hear. Like if a prof is teaching in front and we don't want to laugh out loud. Are you flirty by nature? Actually interested in me? Or just being friendly? The age old question, my friend. Honestly, by how low down the vaginal opening is, having a penis, I fully expected an analogous placement. I figured I'd be able to reach into some jeans and finger bang right at clit level. Boy, was that confusing the first time. On the other side of this, I thought the penis was directly between the legs and hung straight down. The girls never showed any interest. Fast forward to the 40 year reunion and all these girls are telling me how much they were crushing on me in high school. I left town right after high school to find greener pastures. College was a completely different story. I guess the girls there didn't have their old cliques so they were more aggressive. Me, in high school. Driving around with some friends of a friend because I didn't know any better and the two girls had rocks in their brains but fantastic butts. We've all been there. One of them is pee and moaning about some boyfriend for at least 15 minutes, without pausing for breath. Finally, she gets to the end of her rant. There's about 10 seconds of silence. So do you think I should get back together with him? Freaking what? Rocks in their brains but fantastic butts would make a color band name. How they can one day flirt with you and the next one they don't want to even see you. Probably for the same reason you used one and one in the same sentence. 
Why the heck do they wear booty shorts in winter? Like, I get you are trying to look hot, but there's snow on the ground for god's sake. A hoe never gets cold. How do they pee out of their butts? It must be why the Australians call them birds. What confuses me the most is how on every girl's post on social media, all the girls seem to call them hot even if they just barely know each other. Where are they? Source, super religious all male school. On the moon. Why girls can't ask guys out? Why do they have to make you know that they're into you, but do it so confusingly that you don't know, until you bump into them a few years later and they ask you why you never asked them out? Dunno never got the courage to talk to them. Name checks out. Why do they need to go to the toilet in groups like, I would not be able to use the toilet if someone was in there watching me. When I was in school, decades ago, we decided that it was because one of them would hold the purses while the other ones went to pee. They all wanted older guys, like 3-4 years older. I was always jealous of the girls in my high school class who dated college boys, but then I went to college and met the type of guy who dates high school girls. Not my actual quote but very accurate. How dang near every girl has a boyfriend, but dang near every guy is single. Why in a class of 50 people, 35 of which were girls, I was the only guy who couldn't get a prom date. I was always confused as to why the girls weren't interested in sex and trying to obtain it at all costs like we used to. It turns out that I was wrong and girls do like sex. Turns out the problem is you being you. Being afraid of the ball in gym class, like, literally huddling together in groups of girls and then shrieking in utter terror when the soft playground ball flies 30 feet over your head. Why? Why did they do this? Why did they always end up at my uncle's house? They have no Wi-Fi for P. Why, when I came out as gay, they all suddenly wanted to be my friend. They know you're not just there to get in their pants, so you're safe. The girls at my middle school bullied Ali Lohan until they basically drove her to attend private schooling. The girls, once caught, just made the scene by hysterically crying. Pretty sure nothing happened. It was wild. Edit. Edit. Comma edit, edit, thanks for clearing that up. How they can argue for literally 3 minutes and hate each other for the whole year. They hated each other for a year before they got to arguing. Why they always compliment each other on social media and whatnot. For it's like their friends posts literally any picture of hemselves and they're all like omg cutie you're too adorable. I'm in high school rn so I'm going to ask. Why don't you tell us why you're mad what's wrong so I can help or apologize? Man, just learn that they aren't going to tell you. Girls have sex drives just like guys, and they are just as wild. This side only comes out at parties and school dances, and possibly during one-on-one -on -one interactions like dates. How people make dating such a big deal, and how they can't ask a guy out, why is it expected that we have to? The one and only woman I met online dating happened because she approached me first. Our first date was lunch and it was very nice. If she asks first then you can be pretty confident that the interest is mutual. How they would hate each other's guts and talk behind each other's backs but as soon as they meet up, hugs and kisses and small talk. Like what? You two are not gaining anything from keeping this up. Why bother? Fear of confrontation. How they managed to tuck their dong and balls away in their swimming costumes. When I was in kindergarten, I thought girls had a dong and balls too just like us guys and thought that they just kinda tucked them behind their legs. My sophomore year of high school I had a couple of classes with this girl I had a crush on. Because teachers loved using alphabetical order there she and I ended up sitting next to each other in those classes. We start passing notes in those classes talking about random stuff and being a bit flirty. One day I decide to get the courage to ask if she wanted to go out with me to a movie or something. So, I ask her out in one of our notes. She replies saying that she's really sorry but she doesn't like me in that type of way. I was devastated of course, but I also liked her as a friend and didn't want to lose that. So I replied saying that was okay and asking if we could just forget I asked and keep things the way they were because class would be so boring without our talks. She said yeah that was fine and we stayed note buddies throughout the year. 
I was so confused though because I thought she felt the same, but I decided to try and not make that mistake again. Fast forward to my senior year, I had to repeat algebra because I fricked up really badly my junior year due to some personal issues. I'm in a class with a bunch of people the grade under me and I get seated next to this girl named Kate that I thought was so pretty, like with the other girl. We ended up passing notes to each other in class and I come to find out not only did I find her physically attractive, but she was also a really awesome person with similar interests. I really, really liked this girl and crushed hard on her throughout the year. I would make her mix CDs that she would tell me she loved and she even made me one a couple of times. I'd share with her stories I wrote and also art I was working on. The best part of my day was getting to talk with her during homeroom algebra, but I was scared of even trying to ask her out because of how I misinterpreted things last time, so I never did. Came really close a couple of times, but never did. A year and a half after I graduated I'm dating a girl from the same class as her, who had been a friend of mine for a couple of years. We're hanging out with this other girl who was also in my math class and she brings up Kate and asks why we never dated. I told her I didn't think she thought of me that way and she was like, are you kidding me? She was so into you. But at that time it didn't really matter anymore because I was in a relationship and there was nothing I could do about it. But it did frustrate just how bad I was at reading signals. I mean, I'm still pretty bad at it sometimes, but I wish I had at least tried with Kate. You have been visited by the swell skeleton. He'll give you good calcium if you subscribe in 5 seconds. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.